I'll make a prediction. I think he's going to be just fine, okay? Sheriff Joe can feel good. Yeah, days after hinting Joe Arpaio might be pardoned, President Trump made it official erasing that criminal conviction for contempt of federal court. And today, the president again came to Arpaio's defense. He's done a great job for the people of Arizona. He's very strong on borders, very strong on illegal immigration. He is loved in Arizona. I thought he was treated unbelievably unfairly when they came down with their big decision to go get him. Tonight, there's another rumor going around about Arpaio's future. And Jason Berry joining me in studio tonight. Uh, he doesn't sound ready to retire, Jason. No, he does not. And get this, he told me supporters are now urging him to run for Senate seat held by mm -hmm. Jeff Flake. I asked him if he'd do it. He simply said, never say never. It was just a few days ago the former Maricopa County Sheriff was back in the spotlight after Trump turned rumor into reality and officially pardoned Arpaio. Arpaio had been found guilty of criminal contempt for defying a judge's order to stop traffic patrols that targeted illegal immigrants. Trump said after more than 50 years of admirable service to our nation, Arpaio is a worthy candidate of a presidential pardon. This afternoon, I asked Arpaio's attorney if his client plans to stay in politics. As we all know, he's only 85 years old, and therefore, uh, he has plenty of time to uh, continue his public service, uh, which he greatly enjoys doing, and he's reviewing all options that are open to him at this time. Coming up tonight at 5, Arpaio's illegal trouble may not be over. A Maricopa County supervisor wants to go after Arpaio in civil court to get back millions of dollars he's reportedly cost taxpayers. We'll tell you how much money he believes the former sheriff owes and whether or not a civil lawsuit may or may not happen. Well, just like we saw in the president's uh, rally um, last Tuesday night, Arpaio still has a strong base of support here. A lot of protesters, but also a strong base of support. So. A lot of support. Okay, we'll wait and see, Jason. Thank you.